Welcome, I'm Tarek Abu Salut. In this video, we'll cover calculating EIGRP metric on Cisco routers. EIGRP chooses the best path based on the metric value which is calculating through this formula. By default, K1, K4, and K5 is set to 0, but K2 and K3 is set to 1. So this formula will become as you see here, but you should know that the EIGRP scales the interface's value. So it will not use the bandwidth, but will use 10 to the power 7 divided by the bandwidth. And will not use the delay, but will use the delay divided by 10. So this is the final formula that EIGRP uses for calculating the metric. 256 multiplied by 10 to the power 7 divided by minimum bandwidth in the path. And the summation of the delays divided by 10. Before we begin calculating EIGRP metric, you should know that each link or interface has its own bandwidth and delay. We want to calculate the EIGRP metric. First, let's choose the path from site 1 to site 3 through site 4. This is the path. To know the bandwidth and delay of the fast Ethernet interfaces, it choose this command. Go to bucket tracer. Click site 4, enable show interface fast 00. The bandwidth of the fast Ethernet interface is by default or set to 100,000 kilobit per second. And the bandwidth of the fast Ethernet link here is also 100,000 kilobit per second. Also here 100,000 kilobit per second. So the minimum bandwidth along this path is 100 kilo, thousand kilobit per second as you see in our calculation here. And the delay through the path from site 1 to site 3 network through site 4 is the summation of delays along the path. Let's calculate it. We want to know the delays on fast ethernet 00, 0 or fast ethernet 00, 0 link. Let's go to site 4, show interface fast 00, 0, and the delay is 100 microsecond. Also the delay here is 100 microsecond and the delay here is 100 microsecond. That's why the summation of the delay is 300 microseconds. So the metric will be 33,280. Now let's calculate the metric along this path from site 1 to site 3 network through site 2. We should know the minimum bandwidth along this path. We want to know first the bandwidth of the serial link here. Click on the site router, site 1 router, enable show interface serial 00, sorry serial 000. But the bandwidth is 1544 kilobit per second. And also here, 1,544. Here is the bandwidth of the fast Ethernet, 100,000 kilobit per second. So the minimum bandwidth is the bandwidth of the serial link, 1,544. That's why we use it here. Now we want to calculate the summation of the delays over the link or over the path. The delay on the serial link, let's go to site one and see the delay is it 20,000 microsecond and here is it 20,000 microsecond and on the fast ethernet 00, zero the delay is as you see show interface fast 00, zero. this is the delay 100 microsecond so here is the delay 20,000 microsecond, 20,000 microsecond, and 100 microsecond. That's why we use these values. And the metric will be as you see here. So the metric over this path will be less than the metric over this path. That's why site 1 router will use site 4 router to reach the network or site 3 network. Let's see the routing table of site 1 router to see which path will select. Click on site 1, show IP route. Okay, that's good. The router uses the next top 15 to, as you see here, to reach the network 10, 10, 14. Means it will use site 4 router to reach the site 3 network. 
because the metric here is better than the metric of our site to router. The goal of this video is done. I will show how to configure EIGRP in the upcoming videos. For more videos, visit netsyshorizon.blogspot.com. Thank you for watching.